How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about combination firmware and the fact that um, it doesn't really work anymore on uh, new devices. So I'm going to go ahead and, and launch my Odin here um, so we can show you what happens when you try to flash uh, combination firmware on uh, devices like the S10 and the Note 10. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my device into uh, download mode. I just powered it off and uh, you hold volume up and down and power or Bigsby button and then it will boot in and then you push volume up to go into download mode. So I'm going to hook my device up to my computer here and um, right now we are connected. So normally to flash um, a combination firmware, uh, basically from here, right, you're just going to go ahead and hit uh, AP and then you're going to find your combination firmware. Um, which mine should be, yeah, it should be right here. Let's see if it'll, it'll load. There we go. And then you just click the flash button, okay? Now, what you're going to notice is that um, it ain't going to work. <laughs> um, basically, there's been a new security um, by Samsung that has blocked you from flashing combination firmware to um, the S10 and the Note 10s. Basically anything past uh, uh, S10 uh, uh, out there, anything that's newer than that has a new security in it that blocks flashing combination firmware. Okay, And what we're going to talk about in this video is the official method to once again allow combination firmware and then kind of talking about what it is, what, what, what this new security is and kind of showing you some new things. Okay, So here you go. You can see I've got it just like this. It's the device right here, COM23. Um, we've added our combination firmware and if we click start, I'm going to show you what it's going to do. It's going to do an analyzation and then uh, we're going to get a failure. Now, I have heard that there are supposedly methods out there, the way to get around this without using the official method, but um, haven't found those yet. If you guys know anything, I'd love to have a comment in the uh, video section down below. But uh, yeah, so far, definitely have not heard anything. So there you go. This is what you get. Setup connection, initializing, setting pit file, and you get a failure. And then it says repartition operation failure, and it fails. Okay, so that that's that's what happens. now. Um, on the device, generally what you're going to see, and I'll try to show you guys this, is um, it says, please get the approval to use factory binary pit or partition uh, file. Okay, So that's the issue. You'll see that on the uh, download screen. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot this device out of download mode and let it connect up back to my computer. And the reason why is I want to show you guys um, something when I get this thing booted up here. Uh, once the device fully boots. Okay, so we're doing that and let's minimize this. Now, let's talk about the official method. So this right here is the official method. Okay, right there. That's it. This is how you do it. And what they call this is they call this a token. Okay, but let's explain what it actually is. So this is the file I got and I'll show you where I got it later. And if I'm, I'm going to go ahead and open the archive in 7-zip, okay, and right here you can see it's got a steady.bin. This is the actual um, partition that's flashed when you flash this. So I'm going to extract it, and you can see it right there, right? So then what I like to do is I like to open up hex editor, and I don't know if you guys have seen this one before or not, and then I'm going to drag the file into hex editor. And we're going to take a look at what what is in this file. Okay, so there you go. All right, so this is what's in it. And I think the things that I want to point out to you guys specifically is right here. See this toke? Okay, right there. This is the actual token number. Okay, and then this right here where it says, it stands for device, DVI has this number, okay? Um, and then the ISSU is, I'm not sure what that stands for, but this initial number right here is your DID number, okay? You may not know what your DID number is, but I'm gonna show you what that is. And that's really important when you're trying to get these um, tokens, okay? So that number is your DID number, and then you see right here, allow to flash factory binary into device, 
and then the manufacturer, some other information, jargon, things about Samsung down here, a bunch of code that you don't know, okay? All right, so I just really wanted to show you mainly that your did number is contained in this stead bin, okay? So this stead bin, this, this token is only for my exact device, okay? That's what I want. That's the point I'm trying to make, okay? You can also see your did number is the first digits in the name, and then the neck after the, the underscore here, the last part of the name is actually the token number, okay? So just, just again, some more information to, to point out. All right, so let me just show you on the phone what exactly we should be looking for and how to actually flash this so that we can flash combination firmware to these S10 and Note 10 devices once again. All right, before we do that, let's, um, let's do this too. Let's do a quick little uh, ADB fun, right? Okay, so I should have developer options turned on the device, yeah, which I do. And then I'm gonna do an ADB shell and I just want to show you guys um, what's going on here in ADB. So um, if we're going to CD2 dev, CD2 block, not black, block, LS, okay? And then I think what we want to do is um, dev block, I think by name. So CD by name. Oh, it didn't CD to block. CD2 block. There we go. CD um, by name. So here's all the names of uh, all the dev blocks. But then if you do LS minus AL, then you actually get a better uh, naming list here. And I just want to point out right here, Steadbin. So right there, that's the file that you're going to flash to the device here to flash that token over, right? And then here you can see the actual dev block location if you're interested in that. But we are basically just flashing a partition of this device with the proper file to allow combination firmware. That's all I really wanted to show you in here. Um, just kind of interesting just to show you. These are all the other partition names, right? Um, things you can probably know about. Most of these are contained in uh, Samsung firmware. If you look at a firmware package, you'll see all these partitions. Although you won't see the steady bin. That one generally is not there unless you get it specifically. So, all right, that's all. I just wanted to kind of show you guys that, give you a little more information and insight. Now let's get into this. All right, so here is that uh, Note 10 Plus that I've been talking about. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and power this bad boy off so we can show you guys um, what this uh, did number is and, and how to access the did number, um, DID number, okay? So I powered it off, then to get into download mode, you're just gonna hold volume up and down and power, right? Just kind of standard operation. There's no home button, so you can't do that. And then volume up to continue. All right, so here's what I want to point out to you guys. Um, hopefully you can see it. If you can't, I'll try to put it in focus a little bit better. Um, but there is a DID number, and then there's also this barcode, which is also a representation of the DID number. All right, so there it is. There is that DID number, right? It's also on the barcode on the bottom if, if your device has the barcode. But right there it is, and this is going to be very important for you guys to have this when you are um, flashing this uh, steady token, uh, this steady file, because this is what's going to be needed to create the file, okay? Um, so if you, if you order one, you purchase one, this is where you'll need to do that. Um, but otherwise, everything else here you've seen probably before, right? Secure boot, Qualcomm, you know, FRP lock on or off, official firmware, so on and so forth. So there you go. That is the information, and that is how you get your DID number. Let's go ahead and flash this thing. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and give this thing a flash. So I'm going to open up uh, Odin. Try to get out of the way so you guys can see. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to add in our stead file, right? Stead bin file, which is right here. And we're going to go ahead and flash this over to the device to hopefully change our security so we can flash the combination firmware. So I'm going to hit start. And it does look like that flash was successful and the device is rebooting. So while we're letting it reboot, I'm going to reset this. Now I'm going to add in my combination firmware. And we'll let that thing come up. And then we'll put this thing back into um, download mode. And hopefully we will be able to do the combination file on here. So 
I'm going to go ahead and power it off and put us into download mode for the second time. Okay, so the device is back into download mode and let's go ahead and flash this uh, combination firmware over to our device. So I'm gonna hit start and hopefully this time after it does the file analyzation, we should be able to flash it without getting the par partition failure uh, on the phone. So let's see how this goes. This is the first time I've actually done this. I'm doing it live for you guys. So if there's any errors, we're gonna find out as we go. Um, but uh, I think it should work out just fine and fully flash over and it looks like it's going to. Yeah, very nice, very nice. So combination firmware should uh, fully flash. Um, it didn't have any errors this time, which is awesome. And uh, I'm gonna come back to it as soon as this uh, firmware flash finishes. So actually something that I think is interesting that I noticed here in download mode is there is a couple changes above the did number uh, on the phone. Um, basically telling you that um, you're allowed to now flash those uh, combination firmwares because it says engineer mode and is enabled. So that's probably exactly what um, that STED file did is it told uh, download mode to enable flashing these files so that's that's kind of cool so you'll see that so basically if there's ever been a, a note 10 or an s10 has been flashed with a combination firmware you're going to see this on the phone it'll be sitting there and i don't think that's going to go away i don't think you need to ever flash this exact phone with that stead bin again because it's permanently enabled on the phone so pretty pretty interesting stuff Looks like this flash is about to wrap up. There you go, and the phone is resetting. We should see factory binary, and yeah, there it is. And we're done on uh, Odin, so I'm gonna close this stuff out, and we are done here on the PC. All right, just wanted to show you guys the combination firmware right here it is. You can see what, what I've got going on. Um, pretty, pretty cool. You can also go back to applications if you wanna get in here. This is interesting. It does look like Chrome and Internet are actually in here. I haven't seen a combination file on um, the Note 10 or the S10 yet. So kind of interesting. I'm going to have to play with this some more. Um, definitely neat. There's some things on here that I haven't seen before. I'm going to mess with it. So anyway, there you go. That is the process. I'm going to definitely be messing around here in uh, the apps and kind of playing with uh, this combination firmware because it does look a little bit different to me. I'm curious what uh, new things we can do. But anyway, um, that's about it. It looks like we do have a download mode, which is interesting. And it says enter password. Download mode password. Huh. Yeah, we're going to have to definitely look into this. But there you go. That is how you use the token. Um, just wanted to make it clear for you guys to know um, what the process is, how to get it set up, and how to do this on your you know, S10, Note 10, newer Samsung devices with this latest security. And again, if you guys have any other information on ways to bypass this, I would love to hear them. I'm going to continue to do some research myself on seeing what I can figure out. Um, last, let's go back to my computer. Let me just show you the site that I actually got this file from so that if you really want to check it out, you can as well. All right, boys, uh, this is the last thing I wanted to show you. This is the site, imeiunlocker.net. And this is where I purchased my flash token, okay? You can, um, I'm sure, find other sites out there that do it, maybe even for less. I'm just showing you what I used, um, and this way I could do some research. So uh, combination flash token. You click this one, and here it is, right? 75 bucks, right? It ain't cheap. But right here, see this? DID number. Again, there you go. That's the DID number, the DID number that is in download mode. So you paste your DID number in there, and you order it, okay? Basically, um, and during the week, you probably one day you'll get a turnaround, you'll get an email with that file, and boom, you can flash it to your device and enable um, engineer mode so you can flash combination firmwares to your device. Here's some more information about it right here, but uh, just wanted to let you know, again, here it is, Note 10, 10 Plus, S10, so on and so forth. There you go, there's the information. So if you're looking for a, a combination flash token or e-token, this is a, a decent place to check out and get one if you want it. But there you go, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, please leave a comment down below. We'll talk to you guys later. Rude Junkie out.